I was going through my notes, thank goodness for computer files and we can hold on to stuff from year to year. I had found this story last year and uh, I don't know how many of you will remember it, but I thought, oh, I'm going to share it again this year. Got a picture of the scene. The scene is a church nativity play. But it's a nativity play that was written, is being directed, and is being acted by nine-year-olds. Okay? The first scene conversation between the innkeeper and Joseph. Joseph said, I need a room for the night for my wife. The innkeeper comes back with, can't you see the no vacancy sign? Joseph, yeah, but can't you see that my wife is expecting a baby any minute? The innkeeper says, well, that's not my fault. Joseph says, well, it's not mine either. <laughs> but this story has even more richness to it if you have a sense of if you have a sense of the culture and the cultural ethics of the time because you realize just how heroic first Mary and then Joseph were in being willing to accept this reality. For Mary, in any other circumstance other than this is God's child, she would have been thoroughly humiliated. Her family would have been thoroughly humiliated. And according to custom, her male family members had the right to punish her severely for bringing dishonor to their family. And if they didn't do that, Joseph's side of the family, and there's a good chance, you know, that the families were connected, that the ideal marriage that was set up in those days was first cousins would marry. But if Mary's part of the clan did not punish her, Joseph's side of the family certainly had the right to do so because she dishonored Joseph and therefore dishonored his whole family. Joseph had the right to have the marriage promise broken to have Mary punished, I don't know, maybe even put to death for, for adultery. And in Matthew's gospel, we see that Joseph has so much love in his heart that he was just going to send her away quietly. When the angel came to him and said, have no fear about taking Mary as your wife. This is not another man's child. This is God's child. And so you can take it as your own. But there were all of these cultural implications, as I said, and you can just Imagine poor Mary 
That one over there. The one that's pregnant. Yeah, the one that's not married. Uh huh. The one who couldn't wait. Yep. The one who really put her fiance in an awkward position. Yep. That's the mother of God. Blessed among all people. The family, the neighbors, they didn't know that about her. And so I'm sure they felt very justified in their judging, in their whispering and gossiping, just as we do. Sometimes people will come in and they will confess gossip. But then a lot of times they'll say, but I only talk about the things that are true, as if somehow that makes it okay. But this story, such poverty that this child was born into, such a humble start, but a start that this is not the way his parents wanted it. This took incredible faith them to accept at all and not be totally discouraged. That first Christmas was so simple. A young woman, pregnant and frightened. An older man, worried, confused and protective. Travelers and tourists who had all checked in earlier a smelly stable with only wall-to-wall animals for heat. In other words, it was a cold, lonely Christmas night, which left lots of room for faith. Faith in one another, faith in God, faith in his baby child. If that first Christmas was cold and lonely, then it'll be okay if this year's Christmas feels a little cold and lonely too. And this one, maybe more than most. Because one day cannot possibly bear the entire weight of all the needs and expectations that we have. Because our human celebration of God's birth as one of us is never as perfect as we'd like it to be. Because even though we get together with so many, there are always a few who can't be there or who are missing and who we are missing. So it's all right if the first Christmas was and this Christmas is a little cold and lonely because that leaves room for faith. And faith is what Christmas is really all about anyway.